Hi guys, it's Claris, and I am live from the cottage, and uh, just an impromptu live. I just need to figure out, is this orientation okay? Because I am streaming from my phone, and I just need to make sure I'm able to get things properly. So give me a second to figure things out. And I think I'm even going to make sure I have proper internet. There we go. Okay, so how's everyone doing? I wonder if this orientation is meant to be vertical, horizontally, or vertically. All messages are visible, and I'm not sending messages yet. So either you guys are... Oh, here we go. Welcome to live chat. Yeah, let me know if you're able to see this. If you're seeing this horizontally or vertically and accordingly, I can proceed. Otherwise, on my screen, it show me vertical. Just not sure how this needs to be. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to do this sideways. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... I'm going to be using my Zen Art Supplies watercolor paper, which is what I have. And I have these flowers for inspiration, which I think are beautiful. And I love, I don't know what they're called. So someone can probably make a comment and let me know. I love their leaves as well. Just stunning. And I like the idea of painting these beauties. And variations of pink and maybe even throwing in some yellow some nice bright colors for us so I'm gonna leave these slightly peeking on the screen and uh, let's see how that flows and goes on my screen it seems to be very choppy are you guys seeing is this transitioning as being choppy or what can someone let me know in the comments, please? Poppy, there's no point in me doing this. Anybody? Nobody? This feels very, very choppy. Okay, I'm going to check really quickly before I... Okay. Still a little bit choppy, but way better. Start. For colors, I'm using my Paul Rubens Gukai colors. And uh, I also have some other brushes handy on the side, like the round number six and such like that. Unfortunately, because I don't have my color map, I'm not gonna be able to tell you guys what colors I'm using, but rest assured they're gonna be all reds, pinks, carmines, that sort of thing and mixed in with a little bit of white to get our nice colors. So, um, yes, using the modeler, I'm gonna mix some color over here and I'm gonna put this to the side. Actually, no, put it closer to me so I have better access. Otherwise, with the camera and stuff, it's a bit, it's, it's a bit of a, I'm still seeing that the video seems to be very choppy. Okay, so maybe I'll just do a quick video on how to paint these with the modeler. And let's see how we go from there. Okay, so I'm going to do one in this nice reddish sort of color. And then we'll progress with doing... Yeah, it is choppy, isn't it? It's not the best... Keep going. Oh, thanks, Kyle. Um, okay, I'll just make it short then because I don't want this video to go to waste. So here we go. So this brush typically has such a wide width, so it's nice to use it sideways as well to get some really nice effects. So I'm going to get some color from here, and I'm going to draw this in first by kind of just using the side to kind of shape my little 
petal at the top. And notice how the edges are turning out to be. Now this flower is turning out to be ginormous. And sometimes that can happen because this is a big brush. But we've got a nice beautiful top petal. You can pull all the color down to the bottom. Then I'm going to get a little bit more of that same color, but just getting it directly from the color cake. And I'm adding it to the center using the edge. It'll give us some nice dark centers happening here. And then we want the petals around the edge here. So again, using the side of my brush, I'm going to try and very controlled in a controlled manner, try and paint this petal in. And then another one. These petals need to be smaller because they're facing downward. So you got to compensate for that fold. And then the side petal over here. And again, use, use the side of your brush to kind of really go in and fix how things look. If you're not liking how it turns out the edges and then this is where you can also introduce the round number six to go in and add additional detail so I'm gonna get some darker hues actually I'll get some of the it's like a winish red color and I'm going to get that with little lines on the inside over here You've got too much water on your brush, so I'm just going to dab some off on my paper towel and getting just the color itself. I'm going to lightly draw in some of these dark little lines while it is damp because I want that nice bloom to take place within my petals. And it's better to pull the color towards the center so it doesn't do that weird blooming at the top of your petal unless you're looking for that experience, then go with that. Pulling down all the way here. I'm just adding a tad bit of that over here on this end because we don't really have too much of that dark color here, just at the top. And then if you wanna intensify this just there, go back in and add more color. And when you add more color, you're getting more of a darker gradient in comparison to the rest. Once it dries off, you're going to get some nice depth. You can all already see the depth happening over here in this flower. Anyways, so that is that. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a whole bunch of these in some other colors that kind of will blend nicely with this. I'm very inspired by the whole pink era that's going on right now. Not much of a Barbie fan, but uh, we're going to do that. And because this is choppy, I'm going to stop this right here. And you guys have the basics of how to create this using the modeler. Unfortunately, I was hoping to do a full composition, but it seems like with the choppiness, it's not really going to pan out in our favor very much. So maybe i'll try instagram instead but yeah this is what i'll be painting this afternoon thanks for joining in guys